Hello there. I thought I'd do a quick video today on alternate picking. Now, you may have heard the term bandied around a little bit or thrown around and you don't really understand what it means or how you can use it. Uh, it's super helpful. I use it all the time with my plane. Chances are that you already know what it is. You just haven't known what to call it. So I'm going to go through a few ways you can make alternate picking part of your skill set uh, and one of the tools that you can rely on. So uh, before we dive in, I just want to thanks, thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and like. It really helps me understand what you need to see, uh, what you want more of, and it helps spread the word to more guitar players out there as well. So alternate picking, in a nutshell, is when you are picking notes down, like a downstroke, and up, upstrokes, in that order, okay? So you'll find a lot of punk rock, uh, they're using a lot of downstrokes, and it's got a particular power to it, which is amazing. Uh, but when you're, you know, I find a lot of people, upstrokes are really challenging when you're first starting, because it's very unnatural for your hand to do this, for whatever reason, going upwards. So I'm going to give you a couple of exercises and uh, maybe places you've heard it before uh, and hopefully that makes it all a bit more simple for you. Uh, okay, so first off, you would have heard the riff I played at the top of the video. Uh, that's the uh, Master of Puppets by Metallica. Now, the, the die-hard metal fans uh, will say that it should be downstrokes only, uh, but that's, that's very challenging to do. So if you try and play that at tempo, which is quite quick, that's hard to do all downstrokes. Even my tempo is floating a little bit there, right? But if you were to optimize it to use down and up strokes, you can play quicker so you're not lagging behind if you know if you're in a band environment and you find that hard to do with all the downstrokes this is one way to mitigate that so you can keep up without dragging the band behind tempo wise so it's a good uh, way to practice it so this would be i guess tip number one because this song while it's fast is all on the one string it's all on the low e so you're not having to go between different strings which is often the thing that undoes a lot of guitarists, particularly when you're starting out. So again, if you were to do it up and down, you just keep this constant, okay? And then you would play the riff as so. already when you're playing it up and down you can get it nice and even um, and you can play faster too because you're essentially playing at twice the speed you can when you're playing downstrokes. Uh, now the next place I like to use it is when you're playing scales uh, or arpeggios. Uh, again this is helpful when you're soloing because you can you've got economy of movement you can play twice as many notes when you're able to use up and down versus just down. So with a scale uh, now, I'm going to use uh, the G major scale in two octaves, which I've talked about many times. One of my favourite scale shapes, I know that's a bit weird to have a favourite scale shape, but I do. Uh, reason being, as I've mentioned before, you've got a finger per fret, you can start here and work your way up without having to move your hand or stretch for notes. If you do it like this, you're not using open strings, you have a finger per fret, so you've always got something ready to go to push down on the next note ready to go. So it sounds a bit like this. If you were to play it all downstrokes, here's how it would sound. Great. Now if we're going to do alternate picking. Uh, you get much the same effect, but you it actually strengthens your hand because you're playing not even amounts of notes per string. You're playing some odd amounts of notes. So some, some of these strings are going to have two notes, some might have three, uh, and that makes your brain do a little bit of extra work, which sort of stretches it. You want to stretch your brain. You want to make it work so it can do what you want it to do. Um, you can train your hand to do what you want it to do. you just got to put in the, put in the time, put in the reps. 
So here's what it sounds like as it's alternate picking. So again, much the same, but technically you can play much quicker. So that's the power of alternate picking. Now, the other way you can practice your alternate picking is with chords. Now, you often hear this with, it's more of a, in sort of a delicate environment when you're playing chords and arpeggios. So a nice, easy way to do this is to take a C major chord, nice and simple, and then we're gonna use the, the middle four strings, the C, the E, the G, the C on top and we're going to do alternate picking here now this is where it gets a little bit interesting so we're going to do a down stroke on the C up stroke on the G and down stroke on the E up stroke on the C now this is probably the most complex of ways that we're talking about today to get alternate picking up to speed because you're jumping around different string, um, st different strings on the guitar. So helpful hint when you're learning this is to anchor your pinky on the top of the guitar. Uh, this just gives you a reference point for your hand to come back to. You're not floating around trying to hit these things, hit these strings, I should say. Uh, you can focus on what you're playing on the left hand and know that your right hand has an anchor position. So if you put it all together, it sounds like this. So there you go, three different ways that you can incorporate alternate picking into your playing uh, and learn how to make the most of it and make it part of your everyday routine and get that right hand or that picking hand um, up to scratch. So I hope that was helpful. Please watch any more videos I've got up here. Spent many, many hours putting those together and I think they will help you learn guitar and maybe learn something you didn't know about guitar before. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.